Hello friends, so welcome to lecture number 2 of Fourier series and here we are going to solve two problems uh, first uh, this one and second this one find the Fourier series to represent uh, these two functions uh, and uh, these are the intervals given here and also in number 2 also we need to show this relation ok so before we start please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and uh, share with your friends inspire me to create new contents for you hit the thumbs up button also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded so now let's see start so here is the first question and this is the function here f of x pi minus x and this is the interval so let me write the function given function first so this is the given function and let us assume so in Fourier uh, series it uh, this function can be represented in this way and we have taken this is as equation number one right so these are the values of n one two three four dot 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 so on right so now you see let's find a naught how to find a naught we know a naught is equal to one by pi integration zero to twice pi zero to twice pi f of x dx right so here f of x is pi minus x so one by pi integration 0 to 2 pi pi minus x pi minus x dx right so now so if you integrate uh, this uh, so here you see pi into dx uh, pi is constant so it can be taken out and integration of dx is x so simply you will get uh, if you integrate this then you will get pi x then minus if you integrate x dx x dx then it will be x square by 2 right so we are integrating it from minus uh, uh, sorry 0 to 2 pi right so let me clean these things just wait okay so this is what we have got so now let's put the upper and lower limits then what are you gonna get so 1 by pi if you put the upper limit if you put uh, 2 pi here then you will get 2 pi square minus if you put again 2 pi uh, sorry if you put 0 if you put 0 here it's it gonna give you 0 then minus if you put uh, the 2 pi here uh, instead of x square instead of x if you put 2 pi then uh, just wait uh, then what you will get uh, 2 pi square by 2 then if you put 0 here again it's gonna be 0 so we don't need to write that things okay so now let me clean this thing wait uh, just wait so that's what we have got after putting the upper and lower limits so here you see 1 by pi so pi x sorry 2 pi square so 2 pi square 2 pi square then minus 4 pi square by 2 2 cancels 4 that's gonna give you 2 pi square then 2 pi square 2 pi square cancels so it's gonna give you zero. Zero into one by pi. That's gonna be zero. So we have got a naught is equal to zero. So hope you have understood this. So now let's find uh, a n. How to find a n? So here is the given function and its integral is this. So this is the given function. Let me write here. So a n. Just wait. A n. How to find a n? A n again one by pi integration from. Uh, 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi f of x now cos nx dx right so 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi here f of x is this right x uh, pi minus x then cos and x dx now let us apply this rule integration of u v dx that's give you uh, u integ integration of v dx minus uh, integration derivative of u then integration v dx right and dx again okay. so le let us apply this rule okay let us apply this rule yeah then what you gonna do here take this one as first function this one as second function that means this is your u and this is your v okay so then what you will get 1 by pi first function is uh, minus pi to x then integration of cos and x dx 
so let me uh, evaluate the integration separately uh, let me integrate uh, let me uh, uh, find the integration separately uh, just wait now integration of pi minus x pi minus x cos nx is equal to this so let me do it separately minus again integration derivative of this derivative of this uh, pi is 0 and derivative of minus x is minus 1 then again uh, integration cos nx dx and hold dx right so pi minus x if you integrate cos nx then you're gonna get sin nx by n then because of this minus 1 this sign will be plus integration and integration of cos nx is again sin nx by n dx again if you integrate this then it's gonna give you minus cos nx by n square right so that's why we're gonna use this result directly so let me write here that's what we're gonna get right so hope you have understood so now let us use this result here then what you will get a n is equal to 1 by pi so we are integrating it from 0 to 2 pi so let me use this result here let me use this result here this is the here that we have got so now you see remember sine n pi is always zero sine n pi is always zero so this part is going to be equal to zero right this part is going to be equal to zero this part is going to be zero right so we're not going to deal with that so let's put the upper and lower limit here in the second term then what you will get a n is equal to one by pi then minus cos n twice pi so you can write twice n pi by n square then if you put zero then here it is minus minus plus because of this minus and because you see we have to write minus uh, cos zero that's going to be one so one by n square so there is minus sign right so then this will be plus right so we're going to get we're going to get one by plus one by n square so then again uh, what we're going to do here now uh, is this is 2n 2n is even we know that cos n pi is minus 1 to the power n so here we have cos twice n pi so twice n so that's why this should, this should be minus 1 to the power n so n is integer so twice n must be even so even power of uh, minus 1 that's a uh, uh, you know my uh, even power on minus one that's going to give you plus one so uh, that's why what we're going to get uh, there is minus sign so our result will be like this so minus one by n square because this part gives plus one right then there is minus so it will minus one by n square then plus one by n square then here we have one by pi you can see these two are also cancelled so we have got a n is equal to also zero so what we have got we have got the value of a n which is also equal to zero right now let's find b n now b n is equal to uh, 1 by pi again the interval is 0 to 2 pi so 0 to 2 pi f of x now sin n x dx right so we know that f of x is pi minus x so we can write let me write these things just uh, let me delete these things so here you see uh, so we can write 1 by pi uh, 0 to 2 pi so this is the f of x now right sine n x dx right so again apply here uh, consider this one as u and this one as v and apply the same rule as you have applied in a n so then what are you gonna get so let me find the integration separately so pi minus x integration of sine nx 
integration of sin n x dx then minus derivative of pi minus x its derivative gonna be again minus 1 right its derivative gonna be minus 1 minus 1 integration of sin n x dx then whole integration right so now you see uh, integration of sin nx dx that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be pi minus x that's gonna be minus cos nx by n right and here this minus this minus it's gonna be plus again if you integrate sin nx then you're gonna get minus cos nx by n so this minus this minus this minus odd numbers of minus so sine remains uh, here minus right so here we're gonna get minus sign again if you integrate this there is one more integral sign so if you again integrate it then you're gonna get uh, sine n x by already there is a n so one more n comes here so n is square right so that is what we're gonna get so the final result we're gonna get here that that is sine n x by n square right and here if you multiply this minus here then what you will get then you will get just uh, let me rewrite this then you will get x minus pi right that's what you will get so therefore bn is equal to 1 by pi let me use this result here then we're gonna get here x minus pi into cos n x by n minus sine n x by n square so here we are integrating it from 0 to pi so as i have already told you that sine n pi is always zero so we're gonna ignore this right it's, this term gonna be zero so we are going to deal with this term only so here you will get bn is equal to one by pi so if you put 2 pi here then it's gonna give you pi then if you put 2 pi here uh, even multiple of pi a cos of even multiple of pi is always plus 1 right as I have already explained into 1 pi then if you put 0 here if you put 0 here that's gonna be minus pi so minus minus pi so that's why this uh, this will be plus pi then if you put cos 0 that's going to be again 1 1 by n so we can write this result in this way pi by n plus pi by n so how many pi by n so there are 2 pi by n so 1 by pi into we can write 2 pi by n so here pi pi cancels so we have got 2 by n this is the answer we have got b n right so we have got b n is equal to bn is equal to 2 by n so this is the bn so as we have got bn a n and uh, n of so uh, we can use these values in equation number one so what was the equation number one so here you see this is the equation number one we have considered right so this is the equation number one let me copy this equation and okay so let me go to the new slide so this is the equation right and we have got uh, a is equal to we have got a not is equal to zero if you see this uh, we have already got a not is equal to zero then we have got a n is equal to also zero and we have got b n is equal to n by two so let me use this value a n is equal to also zero then b n is equal to two by n so putting these values in equation number one so in this equation number one then what you will get you will get uh, y minus x is equal to a naught is zero so this term gonna be zero so zero plus summation from n is equal to one to infinity so n is zero so this term is gonna be zero so that's why we will get bn bn is two by n sine n x that's what we have got so hope you have understood this now you see mm, this is uh, nothing but uh, you know uh, c 
series of uh, you can see uh, uh, this is uh, here we have summation right so summation when you have summation then you can uh, put n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on then if you do so then what you will get uh, pi minus x if you put 1 here you will get 2 sin nx right uh, if you put n is equal to 2 then what you will get uh, 2 2 will be cancelled so you will get uh, sin 2 i 6 then if you put 3 then you will get 2 by 3 sin 3 6 and plus so on right so hope you have understood this and you can take uh, two common if you take two common then you can uh, you can write sin n x plus there is no two that's why you have to write half so that if you multiply half and two you it gives one sine twice x then you will get one by three sine twice x plus dot 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 so on so this is the reward for your series so here is the question uh, this is the function and this is the interval and uh, this is what we need to show here the given function is let me write the given function first uh, this is the given function let me copy this one directly uh, okay so this is the given function right solution so this is the given function uh, which is defining the interval uh, interval from uh, from minus pi to plus pi right so when you have such interval minus pi to plus pi uh, you can consider this way so now you see 0 to 2 pi this interval in the last problem that we have solved uh, it can be assumed this one as uh, it can be assumed this one as 0 plus 0 to 0 plus 2 pi so similarly it can be assumed minus pi plus 0 to minus pi plus 2 pi right so minus pi to pi uh, plus 2 pi is pi and minus pi plus 0 is minus pi so you can assume that way so that's why uh, uh, just wait so first let us consider this uh, it's a Fourier series is of the form the Fourier series of this function x minus x square is of the form uh, a naught by 2 plus summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x cos n x plus b n plus b n sin n x so this is suppose equation number one this is suppose equation number one right so now you see when the interval was uh, 0 to 2 pi uh, we have to find the a naught uh, 1 by pi in this way we have to use this 0 to 2 pi right so now the interval is minus pi to plus pi so we're gonna get this uh, minus pi plus zero that minus pi plus two is pi so minus pi plus zero then minus pi plus twice pi that's gonna give you that's gonna give you just cut it pi and here it's gonna give you minus pi right so hope you have understood this this thing is uh these things are clear to you so let me got it okay so here is the equation number one right so now it is f of x dx so what is f of x here this this is the function f of x so 1 by pi 1 by pi integration minus pi to plus pi here f of x is x minus x square dx and if you integrate x if you integrate x it's gonna give you x square by 2 and if you integrate x square it's gonna give you x cubed by 3 right so we are integrating it from minus pi to plus pi right now let's put the upper and lower limits then what you will get a naught is equal to if you put the upper limit then here pi square by 2 if you would put the lower limit then also you will get minus pi square is simply pi square and right. if you put the upper and lower limit here then what you will get uh, minus pi x uh, pi cube by 3 minus uh, minus pi cube by 3 so because of odd power it gonna be simply 
minus pi cube by 3 and this minus this minus it gonna be plus right so we can write plus pi cube by 3 okay so hope you have understood and these two are gone then what we will get we will get a naught 1 by pi minus 2 pi cube by 3 right so this pi cancels pi cube to give pi square right so that's why we will get so let me copy this uh, and go to the next slide let me go to the next slide so here is the a and we have got so that's going to be minus 2 pi square by 3 so this is the value of a n right so this is the value of a sorry not a n a naught this is the value of a naught okay so hope you have understood this 2 pi square by 3 minus 2 pi square by 3 so this is the value of a naught this is our a naught so now let's find b n b n will be again uh, sorry a n first let me find a n so a n will be again 1 by pi integration uh, minus pi to plus pi f of x here f of x is x minus x square so let me write that cos n x dx now again uh, let us apply this rule uh, if you uh, uh, want to make this integration very simple then you can apply this rule integration u dv uh, sorry uv uh, u into v you can uh, use this rule that's gonna give you uh, u v1 minus u dash v2 then plus u double this v3 then minus and so on so what does it mean so here you see this u dash is derivative of u and u double this is again derivative of u dash similarly uh, v1 is integral of v and v2 is integral of v1 and v3 is integral of v2 right so hope you have understood this so let me uh, write here u this means derivative of ddx of u and uh, u double this is ddx of u this and so on and similarly v1 is integral of v and v2 is integration of v v1 integration of v1 and so on right so let me apply that then what you will get 1 by pi first u u is uh, here x minus x square then v1 v1 is integration of this v right v1 is integration of v integration of cos nx that is sine nx by n then minus uh, derivative of u the u dash means derivative of u derivative of this that's gonna be uh, 1 minus twice x right and then v2 v2 is integration of v1 v1 we have got this right now its integration will be uh, minus cos n x by as you n. can see uh, if you apply this rule then for us this is v1 right so if you integrate this then you should get v2 this is v2 so integration of sine n x is minus cos n x cos nx by n as we have sine nx by n so there should be square so that's how we have got this right so this is our u dash uh, sorry this is u double dash this is u dash right so now in the next term what are we gonna get uh, let me clean these things just wait uh, right okay okay now you see uh, next this is our u double this and this is v2 then we will get next uh, v triple this and uh, u triple this that and v3 so u triple this will be derivative of this and v3 is integrate integration of v2 right so and doing so what we have got uh, u double this that's gonna be if you differentiate this then you should get minus 2 and if you integrate uh, 
v2 then you should get minus sine n x by n cube right so that's what we have got now you see what we will get uh, so uh, here we are integrating it from minus pi to plus pi right minus pi to plus pi so this are lower limit and upper limits so now you see here in this rule you can see i am writing here dot 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 means it will continue till uh, that means uh, you know we will get a stage uh, here you see uh, this is uh, u1 uh, u dash this is u double dash and this is u triple dash and so on if you differentiate it again in the next step uh, derivative of minus 2 will be 0 so remaining times uh, gonna be 0 that's why I have written here dot 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 we don't know here according to this rule we don't know that uh, when it will be 0 so when we will apply in any function of this form then uh, uh, we we can uh, we can see clearly that after which term it gonna be 0 right so up to that term only we're gonna expand right so hope you have understood this so now what we have got now uh, this is the result we're gonna have after putting the lower and upper limits right so what we have done uh, you know sine n pi is zero so we're gonna ignore this we're gonna ignore this and this these two terms will be ignored because sine n pi is equal to zero right and we're gonna deal with uh, this term only just wait we're gonna deal with this uh, this term only so here we're going to put uh, upper limit that is plus pi and m minus pi lower limit right and you know how to uh, deal with those kind of things so here uh, what you will get uh, after putting the upper and lower limits if you put uh, plus pi uh, uh, plus pi here so what you will get 1 minus 2 plus pi so there is minus sign and this minus it become plus right and uh, then again minus one so now we have put here minus pi after putting the upper limit we have got this and putting the lower limit we have got this right so and cos n minus pi that will be again cos pi cos n pi because cos minus theta that is cos theta right you know these things so that's what we have got so now you see take these two terms common and uh, you can put cos n pi is equal to minus 1 to the power n and let me go to the next slide so here what we have got uh, you can see let me go to the next slide so this is the result we have got uh, let me write here this is the result we have used cos n pi right uh, so this is the result we have used here you can see okay so now taking common so this is our result and this to cancels and this is what we have got so here we have cancel minus one plus one and this is the result right pi pi gone pi pi cancel and that is what we have got this is the value of n so now let me go to the next slide to find bn so here you see this is the function let me write the function here and this is the limit so bn you can use this uh, uh, function here uh, bn uh, how to find bn bn is equal to 1 by pi so here it is minus pi to plus pi as the interval is minus pi to plus pi f of x sin nx right sin nx so sin nx dx so here you see uh, instead of f of x we can put this right instead of f of x we're going to put x minus x squared and doing so what we will get so let me show you here so this is what we have got now let us integrate this okay so integration of uh, x minus x square into sin nx dx again we're going to use this rule u into v okay this is the rule we're going to use as i have shown in the uh, in the previous slide while we are uh, you know evaluating an so so let us use this so u does means you know uh, derivative of u with respect to x and u double this means uh, derivative of u this with respect to x right similarly v1 means integration of v uh, 
uh, v2 means integration of v1 v3 means integration of v2 and that's so now u that is x minus x squared then uh, integration of v uh, that is v1 so that's going to be minus cos n x by n then minus again u this if you differentiate u then you will get 1 minus x sorry not x twice x then integration of uh, now we have v2 so integration of v1 so this is v1 so if you integrate this then you will get uh, minus there is already minus sign so minus sign n x by n squared that's what you will get this minus this minus it it, it will be plus so we're going to deal with this signs uh, later okay then again uh, plus u double this that means uh, you have to differentiate it again then you will get uh, minus 2 right then again you need to integrate this then if you do so then what you will get uh, this is plus cos nx because derivative of sine nx is plus cos nx by uh, uh, minus cos nx by n so there is already one minus so minus minus is become plus so uh, now it is n cube there is already n square right so in the next step if you differentiate it again it will be zero so that's why we're going to stop here so this is the result we have got so what will be b n then b n will be is equal to in so let me use this result here so let me write it properly 1 by pi x minus x square is equal to minus cos n x by n minus 1 minus twice x so this sign is minus so it's going to be plus so sign nx by n square so there should be nx okay so then minus 2 cos nx by n cube so we are integrating it from minus pi to plus pi right so if you use this uh, upper limits and lower limits so, so let me go to the next slide let me copy this and let me go to the next slide let me go to the next slide so if you put pi pi minus pi square then uh, minus cos n pi by n that's what you will get then again if you put minus pi then you will get minus pi minus pi square that's in plus pi so there is already minus so uh, that's why it becomes minus so uh, then if you put uh, minus pi here then again you will get minus cos n pi because cos n theta cos uh, minus theta is again cos theta right so and so we're gonna ignore this term containing sine because sine n pi is zero that we have already discussed then minus then again put pi here then 2 cos n pi by n cube minus again put minus pi 2 cos again it will be n pi by n cube right so here you can see these two gonna be zero right these two terms gonna be zero so hope you have understood this just wait let me use this bracket here okay so now bn is equal to 1 by pi let me take uh, this uh, minus cos n pi by n common right uh, then what you will get minus cos n pi by n is taken common then within bracket we have got minus pi pi square minus pi square then minus if you remove this bracket then it's gonna be plus pi plus pi square right so pi square minus pi square gone so pi plus pi 2 pi what do we have got pi plus pi 2 pi so now let me go to the next slide so bn is equal to 1 by pi minus cos n pi by n twice pi so here uh, pi pi cancels this pi this pi gone and cos n pi is minus 1 to the power n so that's why we're gonna get bn is equal to bn is equal to minus minus 1 to the power n by n that's what we have got the value of uh, bn right 
sorry uh, i have missed this two that is two okay this is the value of bn so now we have got a and bn uh, and a not as well so we can use those values in equation number one so just wait uh, this is the equation number one here you can see so this is equation number one let me copy this equation number one right so this is the equation number one then uh, what are the values of a not a n and uh, b n so a not is this this is the a not just wait this is the a not this is the value of a not so a not we have got this is a not and what was the value of a n this is a n right this is a n this is a n and what is bn so this is the bn so bn is this right so let us use these values of a and bn in equation number one right let us use all those values in equation number one just wait so let me rearrange this okay. so putting putting this value this one this one this one in equation number one so let us uh, use this value in this equation then what you will get x minus x square a naught we have got this one so let's put this a naught then what you will get so then you will get half minus 2 pi square by 3 and this to this to gone so the result will be like this minus pi square by 3 then plus pi n is equal to 1 then to infinity and then uh, what you will get uh, what is the value of n this is the value of n minus pi oh, sorry minus 4 minus 1 whole to the power n by n square then cos n x cos n x plus then bn so bn is this one minus 2 minus 1 to the power n by n sine nx that's what we can get right so if you expand it putting n is equal to 1 2 3 up to infinity then you will get this kind of series x minus x square x minus x square x minus pi by pi square by 3 then plus 4 then cos x by 1 square then minus cos twice x by 2 square then plus cos twice x by 3 square and so on dot 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 then uh, this should be minus okay and if you expand this sine series then you should get uh, plus 2 plus 2 sine x by 1 sine twice x by 2 plus sine twice x by 3 then minus so on dot 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 so this is the series so now let me copy this uh, result and let me go to the next slide so here you see so we have got the required Fourier series of this given function f of x this is the f of x right so we have got this series now also we need to show these things uh, let me go back to the question so here you can see we also need to show this series so here you see in order to show this what we can do let us put uh, putting x is equal to 0 let us put 0 then this left hand side will be 0 on the right hand side what we're going to get minus pi square by 3 plus 4 uh, we know cos 0 is zero, 1 so that's why we're going to get 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square then plus 1 by 3 square and so on right and so on just wait and so on and sine 0 is 0 so this part will be 0 so now 
let us bring this one to this side that is going to be pi square by 3 plus uh, sorry not plus equal 4 in, and let me copy these things just wait so that, that is what we have got now multiply both sides by 4 then uh, sorry 1 by 4 then you will get pi square by 12 then here uh, you will get this you're gonna get this result so hope you have understood this that's how we can do it. so hope you like this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends inspire me to create new uh, new contents for you and subscribe the channel also don't forget to uh, you know uh, hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and see you in the next video thank you for watching